Hello and welcome to another of MATLAB Healthcare's amazing videos on stock market with MATLAB. So in this episode, we'll look at the functions. We'll continue our discussion on looking at the functions that we'll be using in this application. Moving on to the next function, we have the function to plot data in App Designer. So depending upon what value the user selects, we will choose our plot, right? So we'll come back to this particular statement over here in a while. So what we are actually doing here is we are just getting the value that the user has selected from this drop down menu. So we are mentioning that we want to get the value from this particular drop down menu and we are converting it to a string because drop down values are usually cell type elements so we're converting it to a string so that it can be compared and after that we're comparing it to whether it's line area or candle and depending upon that we will plot the figures right so if it's line plot we'll simply plot the opening value and closing value against the dates all right so this might look a bit uh, you know crammed but if you look at it closer this is just a statement this is just what we did in MATLAB so we are just uh, using the same command plot to plot the date versus the opening price and the date versus the closing price and as you will notice that after the plot command we have used a statement app dot stock axis right an expression so this particular expression is used to let the to tell the compiler that we want to plot these values onto this particular axis now if you do not enter this axis you will get a warning here saying that specify a UI axis handle as first argument so you need to write the name of the axis onto which you want to plot a particular figure in app designer Without that, you will get an error. So I'll have to write the axis name in, ev in any plot command I use. So I'll have to write the axis name in hold, hold on as well. So hold on in its usual state does not work here in App Designer. Like you cannot just write hold on here to hold the plot. What we'll have to do is we'll use the functional format of it. So we'll have to write hold, then within braces, we'll have write the axis that we want to hold and then on within single quotes all right so that's how we hold on and hold off in app designer and we have to mention the axis name in each and every method for plotting that we use all right so we are just mentioning the heading for the plot the legends the labels over here and then we are mentioning that we want to have the grids as well the minor grid as well as the major grid now for the plot for area plot we'll just type in the function area and again we need to mention the axis name we need to mention that we want to plot the date versus the opening price and the date versus the closing price after that we have just mentioned the title, legend, labels, and the grid values. All right. Similarly, we'll do the same for candle. Now, for candle, we'll first have to make a timetable data, as we saw in MATLAB, and after that, we'll just convert uh, or we'll just plot a candle plot using that timetable data onto stock axes, and then we'll just mention the legend, title, again the labels, and the grid. All right. So. It's the same method, the same logic, but with, with a slightly different syntax here. And the syntax has changed only a little bit in that we have to mention the axis in the beginning of any plotting tool we, or any plotting function we use in App Designer. All right, so that's about how we can use the function for plotting data. All right. 
Now, uh, for those who have not understood how we are accessing the date and the opening and the other values saved in T data table. So, as we discussed in the MATLAB uh, episode, that we can access a particular column of the table by just simply using the dot notation. So, we can access the element date from the table by simply writing app.tdata.date so that's how we can access any column value in a table so that's about the function for plotting data uh, we'll move on to analyzing the call packs in the next episode so till then it's bye bye from me